We can use sine to calculate the area of any triangle. It doesn't have to be a right triangle. So let's say if I knew an angle C and the two sides that were adjacent to it, how would I calculate the area? Well, to do that, we're going to have to go back, way back to the beginning of geometry, when we said that the area of a triangle is its base times its height divided by 2. Well, we can see that if I dropped an altitude down right here, and if I called that my height h, we can see that our base is actually a in terms of this drawing. And our height, well, we're going to have to use trigonometry to find our height. If I look at angle C, which is apparently is the only one that I know. If I look at the opposite and hypotenuse, that's going to be sine. So I could say that the sine of angle C is equal to our height divided by the hypotenuse of this right triangle, which is B. So if I want to solve for H, because again, I want to substitute in here for B and H, I would multiply both sides by the variable B. So b divided by b is 1, so we get our height is equal to b times the sine of angle C. So substituting in b times the sine of C for h and a for b into this equation, we're going to find that the area of this triangle is a times b times the sine of C all divided by 2. So if you want to calculate the area of any triangle and you don't know the height, all you need to know is one angle and two included sides, and you can use this formula. A times B times the sine of C divided by 2.